public squares after terrorists. Israel does not pay its children to stab random Palestinians. You see, what President Obama gets wrong about deal-making is that he constantly applies pressure to our friends and rewards our enemies. And you see that happening all the time. That pattern practiced by the President and his administration, including former Secretary of State Hillary Clinton, who is a total disaster, by the way. She and President Obama have treated Israel very, very badly. But it's repeated itself over and over again and has done nothing to embolden those who hate America. We saw that with releasing the $150 billion to Iran in the hope that they would magically join the world community. It didn't happen. <laughs> President Obama thinks that applying pressure to Israel will force the issue but it's precisely the opposite that happens. Already, half of the population of Palestine has been taken over by the Palestinian ISIS in Hamas, and the other half refuses to confront the first half, so it's a very difficult situation that's never going to get solved unless you have great leadership right here in the United States. We'll get it solved one way or the other. We will get it solved. But when the United States stands with Israel, the chances of peace really rise and rises exponentially. That's what will happen when Donald Trump is President of the United States. We will move the American Embassy to the